Hey, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. My name is Rich, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can humanize AI text generated from sites like ChatGPT. Here's how it works. So I'm using ChatGPT, and I'd like to generate a short description of who Elon Musk is. And it did a great job giving me this short brief, but the problem is it doesn't quite sound human. So I'm going to show you one way that we can take this text and convert it into a format that looks like it was generated from a human rather than an AI. So the website we're going to go to is completely free. You don't have to log into anything. It is called commontools.org. And here you can find lots of online tools that will hopefully make your life easier. So what I'm going to do is go up to the top and search for all tools. And then one of the first options are right over here, humanize AI text. So I'm going to select that option. And if I scroll down, here is the section where I can paste my text. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to select these first two paragraphs. I'm going to copy those. I'll go back to commontools.org into this humanize AI text tool. I'm gonna paste that. I do have to enter this code at the bottom of the screen and I'm going to select the button that says humanize. In probably about 10 seconds, this tool from commontools.org is going to go through and change this from text sounding like it was written or generated from AI into one with more of a human sounding voice. So you can see this is the original and down here, this is the reworked version, the humanized version, I guess you could say. From here, I could just take this and copy this, paste this wherever I need to do. So this is a great tool, it's completely free. The one limitation, as you may have seen, is that there is a character limit. I'm not quite sure what this is, but you'll notice that if I just delete this and I try to take all four of these paragraphs, let's see if they fit. See, it doesn't quite give you everything. So there is a limit to the number of different characters that you have. So in this situation, I'd probably have to split this text into two different parts, right? And then humanize both of them and maybe paste them together. So one limitation of this tool, but it is completely free. You don't have to sign up. You can find it on the website at commontools.org. And hopefully if you do any work with ChatGPT or any kinds of generative AI sites to create text, this might be something helpful to know. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please feel free to subscribe or like this video. And if you have a comment, leave it below. I'll do my best to get back to you.